Hi everyone, Petal is less here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys a mirror wall art that I'm gonna make. <laughs> so let's get into the items that we'll be using. All right, everyone, I got these large round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. I'm so glad that I found them. I've been looking for them for a while and I finally found them at one of my Dollar Trees. And we have the regular size um, round mirrors <laughs> and we have some LED lights here and I have the gems that we have from Dollarama you guys the large gems I'll be using and I have this piece of foam that I got from um, when I ordered something you know it came in the box so I just kept it to use it for a DIY <laughs> no and we have our E6000 here you guys yeah and our handy glue gun <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get started. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going to remove the mirror from the, the, the frame. Just open the back and the frame comes out. And now we're going to take off this little hook and the tab with the sticker on the back also. And now we're just going to place the mirror onto the back side that's all black. I'm using the black surface. So we're just going to place the mirror onto that we're gonna glue it on with our glue gun and our E6000 and now I'm gonna place some gems going around the mirror these gems I got from Dollarama but you could also use the gems that you get from Walmart. They'll look lovely going around this design also. Walmart or Michaels? And now that we did all three mirrors, we're going to add them to the foam board. Excuse the back of my phone board, you guys. <laughs> it's a little messy, but it won't be showing. So we're just going to place the mirrors onto the phone board. And we're just going to glue them down with our E6000 and our glue gun. And now we're going to add our two small Dollar Tree mirrors to our design. I removed the tabs off the back and we're going to place them down on the mirror with the E6000 and the glue gun. Now I'm adding the the frames that I took the mirrors out of back onto my design which I'm going to glue them together here in the center and then I'm going to glue them to the design okay you guys it's really thin and it doesn't contact everywhere with the mirror so the places it's going to contact the mirrors I'm just putting the E6000 with my hand and the glue gun also just in the spots that are touching the mirrors directly which is the outer the two outer frames two outer circles i should say all right <laughs> and here's our finished look you guys <laughs> my mirrored wall art decor that i made <laughs> now i went back in on the sides and added some more gems to hide because where the hot glue was touching the mirrors it looked kind of messy 
So I just added some gems, as you can see, on both sides, so that would cover up that little imperfection. <laughs> I think it turned out very nice. I'm so glad that I found those larger round mirrors at the Dollar Tree. I was looking out for them for a long time, couldn't find them, so I'm glad I finally found some. And I got to do the wall decor that I wanted to make. Okay, I had the LED lights um, in the beginning, but for I'm going to place my wall decor, I decided not to use them. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show you where I'm placing this wall decor now. Which is here in my washroom. <laughs> and I think it looks very nice hanging on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> it turned out very nice. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope I've inspired you with another lovely DIY <laughs> decor for your home. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming on. And seeing the DIY that I had for today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So you can come back and see more of the DIYs that I have to share with you guys. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bless. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> Just need you back.